housing is an issue we tend to think about when it comes to addressing homelessness. But as we have seen and reported on, rising rental prices can hurt many in our community, particularly senior citizens who live on those fixed incomes. News Five's Andy Cohen joins us now in studio to talk about a city campaign that's looking to gather feedback from seniors about housing and other issues. Andy. Yeah, Elizabeth, the city's commission on aging is looking for that public input. That way they can share it with city council as the council prepares for next year's budget later this fall. In November, dozens of seniors at the Emerald Towers were given two months notice to permanently vacate. The new owners wanted to remodel the units and lease them in our competitive rental market. It don't stop. The move sparked public outcry, but it also highlighted a deeper economic issue in the city the shortage of affordable housing. We are looking at the kinds of recommendations we could make to city council regarding uh, how they could perhaps provide some support for builders and developers so that there may be an opportunity for more affordable housing to be built. This meeting at Silver Key Senior Services was set up by city staffers and the Commission on Aging to gather feedback for city council ahead of budget discussions later this fall. Affordable housing is just one of the issues on the table. The needs of seniors are really not that different from those of millennials. Um, they want affordable housing. They want housing that is close to services, whether it's a grocery store or green space. They want transportation that will be accessible. The city wants its bus service to better accommodate senior citizens who may no longer drive but still need to get around. The Commission on Aging's tagline is 8 to 80, so it's good for an 8-year-old, it's good for an 80-year-old, and everyone in between. So we're really here to you know, provide input from that perspective and to make sure that everyone is having the access that they should have for all of the city services. Now, if you didn't get a chance to come today to today's meeting, don't worry. The Council on Aging is going to hold another public meeting next Thursday. That's May the 31st at City Hall. Watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thanks. All right.